Paul O'Grady Show, live on 4. Right, Spud's in here, Bish Bosh. Hello. Drizzle of this. Ta. Sprinkle of that. Bit of a scrunch. What on earth are you talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the Paul O'Grady Show is sponsored by Schwartz. Tonight, Brenda Blethen, the Pet Shop Boys, and a pet clinic. Live at five on four, it's Paul O'Grady. <laughs> hey, up, folks. Good evening. <laughs> You're lively, aren't you, for a Monday, eh? Do you know, today I had to go to the warfarin clinic in the hospital. Now, I'll just explain. You take warfarin for various reasons, but it thins your blood, you see, and you have to go to the warfarin clinic once a week and they test your blood. They take pints of blood off you to see how you're doing. And the nurses in the warfarin hospital have said, well, I say hello to them, so hello. So that's what that was about. <laughs> No, I tell you, you can always tell a nurse who works in a warfarin clinic because they hang upside down off rafters. So. <laughs> and then, coming out, wait. Coming out, this old woman got hold of me. She said, here, here you. I said, what? She said, I've got a photo of you at a firework display. And I said, oh, let's have a look. And she opened the bag and she pulled out this black and white photo. And I thought, I don't remember this. I said, where? She said, there. And there was some old fella with a pair of glasses on. I said, that's not me. She said, it is. I said, where was it? She said, it was the Festival of Britain. <laughs> that... <laughs> it was 1951. <laughs> I got in the lift, I went to the fifth floor plastic surgery and booked an appointment. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> Festival of Britain. I wasn't even born. <laughs> I'd be about 200 if it was me on that photo. What have we got here? You're very chill today. Hello, love, you all right? Yes. <laughs> Somebody else's medication's kicked in. Uh, where's that social worker? Put a muzzle on. <laughs> <laughs> Buster, by the way, is having to spend another week in hospital. <laughs> no, because it's, it's bad that... The, Mark the vet's going to tell you all about it. It's a melting ulcer and it's bad and it's, he's had his stitches out and it's doing OK, but it's not 100%, so to be on the safe side, they're going to keep him in. So... Aww. We're saddled with the evil one here. Hang on. <laughs> Let me show you. Show them his tattoo on your head. Here you are. Look. Six, six, six. See? See that? Hey, I cast you out. I cast you out. She's not doing it normally. She goes, eh, eh, eh. Right, who's this little one? Please, please, please don't creep. Please, one please will do. Can you say happy birthday to Bradley Taylor, who's 33 on Monday? That's today, isn't it? Is it the 2nd of October? Yes. Yeah. It's Christmas soon, you know. Oh. I don't know what you're going woo for. <laughs> Who's made the cake? Me! Oh, don't tell lies, made a cake. <laughs> we know what a cake was, making a cake. What you put in a cake? Icing! I said, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lady in the audience, viewers, I've just said, what you put in a cake? She went, Icing! <laughs> she's very excitable, God love her. She's, she's got, um, what you would call it? What's those jackets they put on your straight jacket marks? <laughs> Please, please, it's out. So Bradley said, who's 33 on Monday, and that's of lots of love from Lorna, Jazzy and Brendan, with a special kiss from Meow the Cat. There you go. Aww. Can you see it? I'm trying to keep it still. There it is. It's up there on the screen. If you can't... Anyway, you've been mentioned. What more do you want? What's this here? Dear Paul, are you an alien? Oh, please. <laughs> I have a feeling that you are not the person I fell in love with. I am looking at you very closely, and I think there is a scar above your eye where the electrode goes in. <laughs> These are real. <laughs> I'm scared to walk around, I'm telling you. What can you tell us about your spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll come back to you via the psychiatrist. <laughs> oh, I've just got to just do this last one, OK? Uh, congratulations to Ben and Melody... I can't even say it. Ben, yeah, I mean, yeah. ben and Melody Woodhart on the arrival of their baby girl, Freya, 
which is Norse for Friday, or she's the goddess for Friday. You waffle now, Grady. Shut off before they all start emailing. <laughs> and she was born this morning at 7.44, weighing nine stone, ten ounces. God love her. <laughs> no. Nine pounds, sorry. <laughs> Nine pounds at ten ounces. I thought, nine stone. <laughs> Imagine the poor woman hanging onto the headboard. Ah! <laughs> the posh and five doctors were shot down the corridor. <laughs> Freya, good luck to you, love. Anyway, we've got a great show for you to clear the Monday blues. I haven't got the Monday blues, Bert. You're the one who's got a light in his bedroom, suffering from sad. Not me. Thank you very much. I'm on tablets. And to cheer us all up, we've got the award-winning actress, the one and only Miss Brenda Bledon. Let's hear you, Brenda. <laughs> Brenda was formerly known in Ramsgate as Brenda Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, all will be revealed. We've also got those kings of electronic pop, the one and only, the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Plus, we're giving away this week, we're giving away a brand new motor car. <laughs> and we're also going to see what happens when you take your mum to a rock festival. <laughs> 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 Can't wait to see that. <laughs> I was just. I think that my mother, when I took her to see T-Rex at the Liverpool Stadium... Oh, I think that's what finished it off. And then... <laughs> this was 30 years ago. And our twins, Nick and John, are off to Ohio for the world's biggest ever gathering of twins. So a twinny festival there. But first, Diggler goes behind... I've just spit on the desk. Diggler goes... <laughs> no need to get up. Don't start. <laughs> just cos I've spit. No need to use show off your anti-social behaviour. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she's getting old. Look, very daughter of the military today. Diggler goes behind the scenes of Sky One's football reality show, The Match. Have a look at this. Now, Olga, don't start Hi, Paul. I'm up here in Newcastle to go behind the scenes of this year's match. Let's go and see what the score is. You're right, Graham, how are you doing? I'm fine, Diggler. Very good to see you. Yeah, very good to see you. Yeah. Do you have any rules for the players regarding drinking, going yeah, out? We, we have a little bit of discipline because we try to show them as close as we can to what it's like being a professional footballer without being able to do that because we're making a television programme. What's your expectations of the house? I think the academy's going to be like a big brother. It's like prison beds, you're not allowed any books or anything to read, so we better get on. <laughs> Getting injured ain't part of the plan, yeah, I was gonna is say, it? it looks like you picked up an injury. Oh, oh. In a day, like the gaffer said, if you're, if you're injured, you're no good to him. Although these fellas now have gone on to different careers and are very good at what they're doing, they're the ones that dreamed of being a professional footballer, so they have a great chance of their dream coming alive by being, getting selected, hopefully, for the team and playing in front of 52,000 people at yeah. St James's Park. It's fantastic. So you're taking it seriously? Yeah, I think everyone's taking it really seriously. Well, personally, I'm going to bed dreaming every night that I'm going to be man of the match. It's got a hat trick, but... Well, Paul sent me along with a nodding buster for you to use a, as a lucky mascot. Paul, you're my man. Thanks ever so much. That is excellent. Well, one last thing. I want to show you some of my ball skills. <laughs> Diggler, do I not like that? <laughs> there you go. I wish that lad from Corrie would get his bar and a cuss. I used to have a beetle wig like that from Elizabeth's. This was a joke shop in Birkenhead. Up next, we've got the one and only Brenda Bleden. Let me hear you. <laughs> Plus... <gasps> we've got a very depressed goldfish. More about that later, but first, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody sent me this in. Lynn Wright from Bradford. Thank you for that, Lynn. I'll be up all night now. Uh -oh. <laughs> Neighbours banging on the ceiling, which is funny. I haven't got neighbours. But first... <laughs> I have. got two cows and a pig. But first, <laughs> it's competition time, and here's what happened when we surprised Sandy, Frandy's, Friday's ten grand winner. She collapsed. Go <laughs> outside. I've got no shoes on. Well, congrat congratulations. Oh, thank you. You went to the Paul O'Grady competition last night, yeah. and you've just won yourself ten... Thousand oh, pounds. 
Yeah. How did you feel? Oh, wonderful, thank you. Uh. <laughs> Hold it on there! Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry. <laughs> I had no idea! <laughs> but normally, viewers, we go into a commercial break. <laughs> Just as well I didn't let one go, is it? I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, there you see. Oh, I'm blushing here. I'm blushing. <laughs> What would the Wogan say? Oh! <laughs> I don't know what to say. I think I'll just go home now with the blankets over me head. Paul, it was a shocker seeing Sandy in her house coat dragged out the bed. Anyway, today's prize is a brand new motor. <laughs> Are we still on? Oh, it's red. <laughs> I don't know, oh, look, give me a break. Stop scratching, you flea-bitten hounds. It's worth more than £11,000. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> it's a really lovely motor. I don't know what I'm talking about now. I have to go and have a tablet. You grab a pen and paper, and I'll see you after the break, if there is a break on this show, is there? Every day this week,